Getting your computer set up to program the Arduino robot is a multi-step process. Thankfully, none of the steps are too hard. First off, go to arduino.cc. I'll put the links for this in the video. At arduino.cc, you can download installers. In this particular case, I'm going to download for Windows, and I like downloading it as a zip file. It works better for me. So go ahead and do the download. Once you click on that, it'll basically ask you to download. In this case, I'm going to just download, and then the download will start. Great, my Arduino download is done. I'm going to move that file over here onto my desktop, and then I'm going to go ahead and extract it right here on my desktop. Now it's extracting on the desktop, and then once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Okay, now that I've expanded it out, I've opened it up inside of the folder Arduino 1611 Windows. I've got another folder, Arduino 1611, and inside of this I have my Arduino stuff. I don't really need a folder inside of a folder that are similarly named, so I'm going to take this and move it back over here to the desktop. Go ahead and close this. I'm going to delete the zip file. I'm going to delete the now empty folder that I expanded stuff into. And now I've got the Arduino 1611 file. And if I want to start the Arduino compiler, I can just double click on that. Goes ahead and says, wow, you downloaded from this internet. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to hit more info and then go ahead and run it anyway. At that point, I'll get a blocking message from the Java library. I need to do this for network access because it actually runs a debugger over network connection. So I'm going to go ahead and click allow access. And now I've got the Arduino folder up and running and that's good, but I can't actually do the Zuma robots yet until I plug in a couple libraries. First thing I need to do is download ASTAR software and drivers. These are the files that allow the board on the robot to work with your computer. So I can go ahead and download that here. Once I've downloaded it, I can move it over here to my desktop. I can open it up. I'm going to drag the folder onto the desktop. Now I've uncompressed it. And now it's talking about, okay, I look into the drivers folder and I'm going to right click and do install for the drivers. Yep, I want to install this. Go ahead and install it. Great, I've installed the drivers, but I'm not quite done yet. Inside of the add-on folder right here, there's a Polulu, Polulu folder. I need to copy this. Go to my Arduino folder. Go into hardware and paste it in here. At this point I've installed the drivers and I've installed the, installed the board support for my Arduino. Next up we need to get the example libraries installed. So underneath the sketch menu there's an include libraries. Then we want to manage libraries. And then you can type in Zumo. Grab this. In this case, I already have this library installed on this particular um, version of Arduino, but you would sit here and you would install it, and then you could install the Zumo library, and then you would be ready to go with programming the Zumo. You'll also find underneath examples, there will be the Zumo examples, so they have several built-in examples where you can see example code on what's going on, and you can select the board for the Zumo at this point. This is the Polulu A-Star 32U4 board. So get that selected. You should be able to find your particular robot when plugged in underneath port. So we've got the correct board selected. We've got the port selected. And then at this point in time, we should be able to select sketches out of either the examples or our own sketches and upload them to the robot.